Dear President Trump, this is Fermin and Blanca and their three little children. They live in Desert Hot Springs, California and work hard for a living. I don't think you would like Fermin and Blanca very much though. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. That is not who these people are. I am Samantha and this is my family. My parents are Mexican immigrants. On the day of your inauguration, I stumbled out of bed. In the kitchen, I heard you say, Nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. In that instant, I woke up fully, confused with fear. I began shaking, shaking, thinking that maybe you were going to deport them. My parents, Fremen and Blanca. Would I come home one day to find out that they were gone? The more I thought about it, the more worried I became. Worried that somehow it was just a new beginning. Worried that there was more to this whole situation that I couldn't understand. I think you said all those hateful things because you don't like immigrants. You don't, can't, or won't see what we have to offer. My father, Fermin, wakes up every morning and goes to work. He even makes sure that we study and lectures us on history every night. And he makes sure we have no troubles or fears. My lovely mother, Blanca, stops and listens to every troublesome situation her daughters have. She gives the best advice and hugs her children, telling us that everything will be okay. As you can see, my parents are not bad people. We are not a bad family. President Trump, there is so much discrimination between us, fights and arguments that separate us. If you would just listen, you would find that we aren't asking for much, I promise. We ask for equality and respect for us as productive members of society. We also ask for respect for all those immigrants who made it here and are still here and are just as part of the country as anyone else. We have a level of determination that others do not. What would America be like without us? From a daughter of two immigrants, Samantha Rodriguez.